All right, now the Elden Ring watching and the Elden Ring reacting shall commence. Do not play this video in the dark. It is very scary. Ah, uh, the lands between. So beautiful, so tranquil. Until I showed what up. What the hell? Welcome back, everyone, to Elden Ring, one of the games of all time. <laughs> Role-playing mechanics, riveting combat, cool math. Oh, hey, it's a let me solo her guy. Probably a story so convoluted that entire YouTube channels exist just to tell you about it. I do not know much about the lore, but I do know one thing. Melania is definitely the Blade of Mikola. When we last <laughs> left off, we endured great pain and suffering in our quest to destroy the cast of Percy Jackson. But do not worry, the pain has only just begun. And if you somehow haven't seen the first part, then... What do you I mean, just begun that's fine i have also seen jojo so with the other <laughs> shattered and america's inbred dipshits it's time to tear our way through enemies of plenty attempt to find a girlfriend almost impossible and test the true strength of my hardware because this will be our greatest challenge yet and also the what the hell was that of the game oh the tekken music oh <laughs> yo this is easily the best song in Tekken history, bro. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care what anybody says, dude. Oh, man. I was not expecting Last that. On blatant copyright infringement fair use edition. We Holy shit. We struggled off his life support with violence, delivered Garfield his precious lasagna, and finally convinced Joseph Hussein Biden to end it all with nuclear fire. I'm dead serious. Wow, that was uh, okay. so fucking crazy. I better fast travel to the third impact Evangelion. We'll you know, just when I was thinking this game can't possibly get bigger, it gets significantly bigger. I'm not sure if the developers are okay, especially what since the they're trapped in the same room as that man. It turns out nuclear weapons are a great way to excavate the earth, and there are no long-term consequences, which means we've got an entirely new area to explore, hiding just beneath our feet. And no, we're not going to visit the Blue Man group again. I still have the night how do you how do you even fight those second. this is michigan i need to leave as soon uh, as possible damn ah, it's a woman I'm <laughs> it's a, it's that is a woman <laughs> it's, oh it's a <laughs> oh hey i've seen that picture before without the pringles can pringles can are thou no more brain than stone can you speak english can you throw yourself into a wood chip listen i have is that Shanpai? I've never seen a Caucasoid run that fast. They kept yelling, Go, white boy, go. Oh. Yeah, that and is her. I need thy help to run my errands. May I ask why? No, I'm going through a tunnel right now. Your signal is breaking up. Damn. <laughs> I apologize for that. I may not have known at the time, but this was the beginning of an absolute rabbit hole. One that would lead me to dangerous and disturbing What was that? This shit makes Blighttown look like a playground. Welcome <laughs> everyone to the <laughs> Fortress. It's three rooms long and filled with naked and hostile women, which is my preferred enemy. I've always wanted As to it be should a police be. officer. This is just like my favorite Damn. Japanese anime, Kill the Cats. And if that's a little <laughs> too intense for you, don't... Can we... <laughs> I really like the fact that, like, like, like... A lot of the <laughs> a lot of the time he can't he can't just like how I'm doing right now he can't even get to his own damn joke without laughing through it and I think I think that as as a as, as a fellow content creator I think that that is a very very important thing how I'm like. If if you're not laughing at your own stuff, you're doing something wrong. Which is why I'm like with everything that I do and everything that I make, I always find a way to find some kind of funny haha entertainment out of it. And so like I really, really do like the fact that he laughs at his own stuff and he leaves it in the recording. I think that is amazing. I think more people should do that. Don't worry, there are dozens of skinwalkers waiting around every corner. Just knowing that <laughs> makes me feel skinwalkers. very comfortable. But my favorite enemy in the entire level is in fact myself. Me. I am the boss of the level. Oh shit. 
we're out here going after Shadow Peter Pan. I'm forced <laughs> to fight the only bitch that I trust. Gonna lay a fucking smack down with Dark Link. This battle is a unique concept to say the least. It perfectly copies and uses your entire inventory. And yes, oh, really? it tells me you can unequip your weapon and laugh at him for the whole fight. He literally cannot be Yo, what? Not that you would need it, because if there's anyone in the world who knows how to keep me down, it is myself. This <laughs> weakness is naked anime women. But overall, it was a great experience taking revenge upon the man who ruined I love life. everything about this. Unfortunately, as a result of that battle, I have destroyed a part of myself. I have killed my artistic integrity. Hey and guys, you'll be fine. I an entire torture chamber for animals in hardcore Minecraft. And if you want to see how I Hello? the innocent, stick around until I kill my son. I feel like if you showed <laughs> this video to a Victorian child, he would die instantly. And speaking of dying, <laughs> we've returned again to Jump Scare Junction. That's right. I lied to you. I give you the wrong directions. This area is an identical copy of the last time, complete with the same puzzle, the same enemies, and how? Same boss, but this time he's glowing, just like this video. Now, don't oh, so it's a Super boss. Saiyan. I love beating Canadians to death, but why? Please do not subject me to more Canuck and boss torture. Now, <laughs> yeah. the rest of the area, it's pretty nice, you know. Kind of short. Introduces the brand new sapient sphere type enemy. That's okay, uh, excuse though. me. You have seen Steel Ball Run, but what I really want to find <laughs> is this knife, which is a surprise tool that will help us later. With this, How? we now cause many kitchen nightmares. Let's uh, go. Wait. Is that, I mean, I'll, I'll probably find out the more the video progresses, but like, you use that to kill the blue specter ghost people that just jump you? To someone who actually knows what's happening right now. Not you, though the alternative <laughs> isn't much better. Hey, hey, Tarnished. Yeah, hi. I see you've come to me with londonbinknife.png. So you know what it is then? No, but if you desire <laughs> a refund, I must redirect you to Ronnie. The, the intensity of which that no was said is amazing. Can you rebate your purchase? Oh, I've met Ronnie before. She's, uh, interesting. But I she's lovely. Tarnished. The temptation of a blue gash is strong beyond belief. Uh, yeah, I know. I, too, have felt the call of her puppet hands upon my tackle. Just imagine, <laughs> Tarnished, what those four must okay, bro, chill out. Welcome, everyone, to Horrors Beyond Comprehension, a land of the hands, as it oh, the thinky No. No, that... That right... That that right... That right there? Uh-uh. Uh-uh-uh-uh. Uh, not me. No. 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 Making my way here was a treacherous affair. I had to dodge the magical artillery. How are you running that fast? Steel. This place, however, is anything but safe. I would describe it a bit like the SpongeBob perfume department. You simply <laughs> need to get through it, but you will lose a part of yourself. There are hands everywhere, in the ground, on the ceiling, and within my nightmares. They are 90% of the enemies, and the remaining 10% kind of remind me of myself in a really strange way. My uh, yeah. Is Chicago Kira. I'm 23 years old and making YouTube videos. As it turns out, the Queen of Caria going insane in Hogwarts had implications for the kingdom and one of those implications uh kind of kind of slaps you know like a hand literally I would kill myself if I was written by JK Rowling I can't even show the pictures of normal knuckles on Google because I keep getting this fucking echidna human knuckles just makes it worse now oh god what the fuck was I talking about Oh, yeah. So after dealing with my Oni chan and killing the only normal <laughs> people for miles, the game just gives up and has us fight a ghost instead. What? I've always wanted to kill a white woman. Also, I'm available at the <laughs> This fight is actually an iteration of the previous tree sentinel boss, so it's a really good I thought that, that I looked hear. familiar. Say I have a lot of practice with the moveset. Ow. This time, however, we've got a copious amount of magic, even greater speed, and a horse ghost, which implies that there is a horse hell. Horses don't belong yeah. in the battlefield. They belong in the McDonald's menu. I can't even <laughs> turn the master to do it This is just like George Orwell's Animal Farm. In summary, this boss is good, but nothing we haven't seen before or will see right. in five minutes. The magic earned her a really comfortable spot in B tier right next to herself, but that is a story for uh, part 19. So for now, I'm just gonna <laughs> send her to a farm upstate. Ketamine stolen? Way, I've played this game for uh, 130 hours and I uh, haven't slotted a spell. Now, as a full. You what? X. You, you did. You did what, bro? M man, look. Look. That. <laughs> That reminds me of a uh, a uh, <clears throat> a clip I saw on TikTok where someone was playing Kingdom Hearts One for the first time, and uh, they went through the entire game, got all the way to the final world, 
and didn't equip a single ability onto Donald and Goofy, even though the game clearly stated at the beginning, hey, you can equip abilities and things to your friends. You should do that. That, that, that is what that reminds me of. Mental consequence of my vehicular manslaughter Rita, we have finally unlocked Ronnie's Rise and my favorite part of the game, Ningyo Romansu Shimureta. Honestly, huh? I'm a big fan what? of writing on this one. I just don't really care for the uh, Blythe arc where he eats the classroom. But to get to that, <laughs> we have to fight the most dangerous and powerful boss of them all. What is we that, bro? Him. If we can teach magic to fucking dragons and dogs, I don't even know why we try. The most powerful <laughs> wizard can be found in a zoo. You know, at least he, uh, he, uh. Is he stuck? Uh, he, he's gone. He he's has despawned? Peace. I guess all that's left to do now is enter okay. a Toyota High School so I can finally <laughs> be the love of my life. Ah. How the fuck did you do that? Do what? <laughs> do what? Oh, she says, her long hair swaying in the Among Us Morbius Among Us sus. Stop. So, uh, why are you here exactly? Oh god, the game actually prompts you. I really gotta think about this <laughs> one. Tell you what, I'm also in the business of killing god. I want to restore the good old-fashioned values upon which we used to rely. Is that a bad thing? For you. Now, are you going to join <laughs> For me? you? Oh god, she doesn't know I'm a sub. <laughs> Wonderful. Your first mission is to kill my brother, Satan. You can find him inside his volcano. What the hell? Don't come back until one of you is dead. Well, I guess that's it then. Time to take the elevator <laughs> so I can talk to my sleep paralysis demon. Greetings, Tarnish. Oh god, not him. It is I, Brian Dawn, from Family Guy. Please leave me Alone. I'm not really here right Damn, now. Brian, so you changed. An answering machine. Please record your message. <laughs> Finally, it's time to Yo, the music choices that he uses for his videos is really, really good. We have to elevate our consciousness so I can have my date with Ronnie Senpai. Fortunately for us, there is an elevator. Thank God, the mountain of death is wheelchair accessible. Damn. You just gotta watch out for the uh, falling rocks. I'm what was that? Get the impression that I'm not wanted here. So we is that the mask from, from, from fucking JoJo? Built and designed for the new American male. And Ew. Keys in the ignition like a sedan. Welcome every pony bazinga to the Altus Plateau, land of the fourth demigod and his magic treehouse. I originally meant to <laughs> I will kill for this woman. Day, but this area is the world's biggest set of dangling keys. There are two paths we can take to traverse this area. The Road of Proper, Upright Civilization, or the Forest of Immaculate Pain. You know, I did both of them, but this one is funnier. Welcome everyone <laughs> to the Worm People Dimension, a region totally unique in how it decides to kill me. You see, the inhabitants have a special status effect called death, yeah. and the effect of death is that it kills you rather painfully, and uh, there's huh? of them. My favorite whoa, example Whoa, 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 wait a second. Totally unique in how it decides to kill me. You see, the inhabitants have a special status effect called death, and the effect of death is that it kills you rather painfully. And uh, damn, few of them. my favorite example is definitely Wormface, who is called that for no reason. All of his oh my god, some kills. I think it could be better to take the stealthy approach here. Hey guys, Maxor here, and today we're going to be sneaking into Big Shell. Raiden, you have to stop the Facebook algorithm, it's giving people pronouns. So, after navigating <laughs> the entire jail, or just teleporting past it, because you can do that, we continue exploring Bikini Bottom so I may find. I'm the maniac. Just don't turn around on the bridge because, uh... He what? is there. So the for the fuck? next part of our journey, we make our way to the Windmill Village, which is, uh... uh apparently a fun time. You know, I used to listen to that song a lot. Women, but this is a bit much. These bitches really do be reenacting the plot of Midsummer in the local retirement <laughs> center. Honestly, this area is pretty dope as long as you don't make them angry. Don't worry, women are very easy to calm down. So with our are you sure about situation that? now under control, we walk for three seconds until the boss just kind of approaches you, just like Dio and his stand. Welcome back <laughs> to the official IGN walkthrough. And today we're going to be fighting Slenderman. Gotta collect those eight pages. His attacks are fast, really fast, and his combos are longer than my video schedule. If you ever think you're safe against this boss, think harder. This man goes harder than a police officer in the Black Sea. And to make things worse, we have a second phase which may be huh? Finally, the spaghetti coat. What I is that? that? Required an exorcist before, but thankfully the priest was better at the game than me, so uh Okay, that was cool. That's not the last time we're gonna see him. Although huh? I wish it was. So with Friedrich Fast <laughs> Foreskin we relocated. <laughs> we approach the favorite game of healthy eyeballs, and after being welcomed very nicely by the Damn. Rangers, we catch a glimpse of our next destination. The next destination hurts my eyes. All you have to know uh, is yeah, that's a very bright there, tree. Because I'm a moth. And also this anime girl. Naturally, my first <laughs> instinct was to head to the front door, like the feds. Bad idea. But these instincts were not correct. Also, Damn. some people say my videos are too fast, so here's a dog. Huh? No, they're not. Well, well, I guess for 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 some people, for some people, they would be considered too fast. But I don't consider them too fast. Oh well. So instead of whatever that is. 
Also, I probably should have said this at the very beginning. But in case you're curious as to what all these beeps and boops and bops are, uh, Opera GX added this thing called uh, Mods, and I found their GX Boy one, and I like it a lot. So that's where so we need to take that's where that comes from. And anytime I type in my keyboard. The side route to get in. I have to skulk cantankerously towards my devilish deeds. But upon reaching the back rooms, we find that the way is blocked by the dreaded most powerful enemy of the entire game. Damn! The copy paste key is back, and this time he's tired of my shit. No, I'm not ready. This battle is really difficult, not because the moveset is new, but because I have exhausted my horse jokes. To put this another way, he's tougher <laughs> than my dad and hits harder than his belt. Not much is different this time. Jesus around, Christ, the amount of damage he took from one you. hit! This is just like my Redmi Note 11 Pro when I criticized the Chinese government. Overall, though, this oh, god a reskin and a literal gatekeeper for the content ahead, which is why I decided to exploit him using my horse, just like the Mongols. Absolutely horse versus horse, let's go! One second, guys, I need to answer my phone. So, with the evil rise <laughs> of capitalism out of the way, it's finally time to head inside. This is what we've been building up for for 13 entire minutes. And when I got there, I was. Has so it been 13 minutes already? What I saw that I fell off a oh, cliff just died. about. Great uh. Story. Welcome everyone to Mystery, the royal capital, a land that pleases the eyes and destroys my ears. The sound of the Smurf Jamboree is fucking inescapable. We're gonna hear it for the rest of the level in the form of my tinnitus. Look oh god. This. Look how fucking big it is. And yes, we can visit all of that, the entire city. Do you see that dragon? You can climb it. These enemies, what? they can climb me when I am six oh. under. Enter the buildings, peruse the streets, find new enemies and die to them. We've got Damn. Of everything here in Portland, Oregon. This game is Dark Souls 4, 5, and fucking 6. So I ask again, <laughs> are the developers okay Do no they they're sleep? not so after our encounter with band class we move throughout the city becoming acquainted with its welcoming residents and there are Jesus. so many different paths that it's actually hard what to talk about you can oh, hi. go down the streets and die go through the Damn. drain and be dragged to the depths of hell where the what go. or you can go to the bad side of town and die to the exploding worm i hesitate to call this a level because this is a goddamn experience just yeah it is this innocuous well because you'll have to fight the poo and piss men i'm serious <laughs> this is an entire dungeon in and of itself and it's more convoluted and confusing than a woman. I want to get off this <laughs> to Please let me see my family. But that is a story for uh, probably never because it's guarded by the demigod of incest. I will have to deal with him. Hello? After he stops dealing with me. So once I finish up preening the garden and becoming one with the graveyard, we ascend to the next. So many of. So many segments in his Elden Ring video so far just remind me about Toho. Like, the amount of things that he's gotten shot by from out of nowhere or is getting swarmed by like a thousand and one projectiles i just think about toho because that's what that shit is especially if you're not paying attention level of consciousness and begin making our way to the palace above it's pretty beautiful but i would suggest installing railings because i am stupid and also yeah segment. speaking of which here's the uh next boss he just kind of appears there Got that is a very large videos. axe now i could get into this boss maybe talk about how he helped my insides experience fresh air but he is <laughs> very phoned in and we're going to get quite familiar with him later and also he uh, has a stand so that's how you know he's that's cool him. Since this boss is technically a memory, we're just gonna forget that he exists. Maybe should have done that during the fight. So all that's left to do now is get into the giant tree so I can finally kill God. I've always had a grudge. Are you sure about that? Guy. After all, he made the British Isles and some crimes okay, true. be forgiven. That is the reason I hate him. Ah, uh, if it isn't my old friend. The tarnished who gets no bitches and stacks. <laughs> I lived, paper. bitch. How are yeah. you alive exactly? How are you still single? One Damn. called the demigod's family. But that was before I became racist. Though your tenacity deserves praise, it is for naught. For I have never lost a debate. What the fuck is wrong with the cancel culture strikes again? Oh god, this fight is good. Like, really fucking good. I just it looks like fun. Today. That quirked up white boy do be busting it down sexual style. And his <laughs> is methamphetamine. This shit is fast. Very, very fast. Faster than a Genshin player's trajectory to prison. So fast. <laughs> <that Tyler doesn't... laughs> oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. Need to wait for 
phase two. They call him Home Depot DoorDash because he's delivering the tools straight to you. Also, yes, I can make his weapon change color at will. It's like a speed <laughs> for epileptics. But what makes this fight difficult is not just the speed, not just the mobility, and definitely Damn. not just the damage. Although there is a lot Ow. of damage, but Ow. how many fucking moves this man has. And all Swords of Revealing Light? Speed, so have fun with that. This time around, we've got daggers, hammers, spears, a lot of swords, and a little bit of trolling. I remember the <laughs> Darkness bosses were just an obese man. We were so young. But this does beg the question, why was Morgoth just hanging out in front of Stormvale? Was why not? his groceries? Did he use a VPN? The only assumption I can make is that he just really hates you, and yeah, I can fucking feel that. I also hate me. So to come out on top, we've got to remain quick, brace the inside of our asshole, and verify our online sources with correct documentation, because this is the hardest <laughs> boss so far, and the easiest boss for the rest of the game. So whether we're delivering pizza or attempting to Morgoth will bring you the Home Depot experience, whether you're ready or not, and the answer is usually not. This is some of the most mesmerizing shit I've ever seen. He re Ma Maxor, I hate I hate to interrupt like peak editing right now, but Maxor does a really good job at setting up a scene and setting like like making something memorable. And I think more people should be uh, working towards that if they make content. That's really th this is really really nice. Like like uh I because I edit a lot and 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 I I review I resume the video in a second, but like I can almost see like where he decides he wants to put things, how he puts them in, how he implements it. I can see all of that happening from like before the video gets rendered out if that makes sense. Like the more you do this kind of stuff, the more you can see it happening in not real time but mental real time in other people like on some astral projection editor shit or something that fight was the fucking bomb honestly yeah you get to use the swords with a revealing light it was attack. A hard fought battle, but now it is time for me to claim my rightful throne. Are you sure about? <laughs> oh, fuck, I thank God pay for this. All we have to do is go through the um. Uh. Oh, this probably has an explanation, but something tells me I'm not going to like it. Oh well, time to go. My actual objective is worse than this. Much, much worse than this. <laughs> much, much worse. So, uh. Hello. <laughs> Yeah, that's great. Look, I need help getting into the glow stick tree. Do you have any shears? Oh, why didn't you say so? No reason in particular. Nah, don't worry about him. He's uh doing stretches. For Hello, Badger. Years. What? Anyways, you need to uh burn the tree. Excuse me. <laughs> you need to go to Giant Mountain and burn someone to death. I want that shit to look like a <laughs> Is immense and without limit. How about I just go kill Satan instead? You cannot run from me. <laughs> Welcome everyone to the Mountain of Agony, both in the lore and in gameplay, but mostly gameplay. Home of the fifth demigod, Satan, literally just Satan, Lucifer, the big D, if you will, who has made his home inside of a literal volcano where he intends to commit blasphemy in peace. Just one problem, we gotta climb that shit ourselves, and the main way up is uh I thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I had, I heard it playing in my head, and I would hope he did it in the video. Thank God. Linear. I call it the Habsburg family tree because this shit is a circle, one with a higher population of apes than Twitter. What the fuck was that? Part was the horrifying darkness of my Appalachian camping trip. Something is after me, but I don't know what it is. Now, don't get me <laughs> wrong, there's still a lot to discover, but half of it is igneous rock, and what remains is a bit of special. Just gotta take out this enemy over here when suddenly bird jump scare. It feels what a bit the like fuck? every level collaborated to make this one. <laughs> people, monkeys, spastic robots, and you better believe that the hands are back. We even get to see the um, the handyman himself he's getting really out of hand this time you could say that i have my hands full this is hands down the stupidest joke in the video so after climbing up <laughs> a little bit you know three ladders in a row we gaze over a cliff whereupon patches just breaks my fucking skeleton what i have to climb all the way back up the top Bruh. of the mountain is really 
fun though, especially I'm sorry, how was a horse flying? It's like Disneyland for Victorian peasants or just Yugoslav war criminals. I think Satan might be up to something. It's just a guess though. So after three days of assorted undersea mischief making, we finally arrive at the Volcano Manor. But at that <laughs> size, it's more like a volcano gated community. Little did I know what I was getting into, starting with the um red you know like all the flags this is giving me i feel like i'm inside of a gaming pc maybe this woman can give us more info hello tarnish and welcome oh to shit the that's Man iron mouse creative today aren't we i am the virtual youtuber of this mansion tanish and this is gog <laughs> gog gog is in pain aren't we all anyways <laughs> <laughs> you enjoying the forces of Satan? We offer coupons. For what exactly? Mostly funerals. But <laughs> well, you know what? I do want to attack God, and the mood lighting here is sick as fuck. Where do I sign? Oh, you don't sign. You kill. What? We crave innocent blood, traveler, and I expect a sufficient donation. After all, <laughs> you eat. And I am a child at heart. I think I chose the wrong voice actor. <laughs> well, I guess. <laughs> Satan now. My outfit needs to get a little edgier, and my weapons need to become a little veggier. Potatoes aren't the only things that these can feel. And as a fresh recruit to the Army of Darkness, I now have access Hell to the yeah. office break room. It is surprisingly nice, so long as you avoid the souls of the damned. I do not care who the IRS sends, I am not paying taxes. Also, half my fellow <laughs> demons have scoliosis. So Damn! Let's just collect our first target, you know, instead of talking to them. And if I'm going to kill the innocent, I might as well do it with some chill beatings by Dr. Dre to relax and study to. <laughs> Whoa, that's a cool attack. Man, he's so good at this shit, bro. I can't wait to watch the other video people have suggested to me. I think we might be the bad guys. Just kidding, I don't think. Oh shit, wrong door. Congratulations, <laughs> traveler. You have proven yourself my When the intro transmission doesn't work. You get to meet Satan now. No, oh, what's the occasion? Dinner. Huh? Can I leave now? Have fun. <laughs> uh, hi there, Satan. Did you fall from heaven? I don't think he liked that one. Damn. Oh my god. Hey guys, Maxor here, and today we're gonna be trapped in, um, hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it turns out war crimes and orgies are sins. Don't ask. So now that no we're shit. Hell, I get to meet all of my favorite heroes, such as huh? Ronald Reagan, and also all the landlords that Mal killed. But to navigate this new landscape of fire and brimstone, we must venture into the many circles of hell, each one complete with their own trials and punishments, but mostly punishments. Now as for <laughs> me, I was sent to the circle of greed for what being a YouTuber, and my punishment is continuing to make this video. It is four in the morning. Now the first thing <laughs> you see in this level, I mean the first thing, is an anger direction. This tells us that we are in the circle of lust, where all the Genshin players reside. You know, I'm a really big fan of us. Sugma Kokomi. Boy, I should what? Love, love being surrounded by women. Genshin Impact video very soon. Just uh -huh, sure. This quarter and, uh, what the fuck? There? Well, I'm sure he won't be bothering me <laughs> uh, anytime later. Oh my god. Whoa. It's him, the Caprese Demon. Now, for our next stop in every Denny's ever made, we're heading into Hell's Assisted Living Center, which is filled with unbaptized infants and the disabled. It was at this moment that I knew I was not being punished, but that I was the punishment. Also, Jesus Christ, this is darker than Ethiopia. After which, we we'll find ourselves in the circle of gluttony because the residents what are the a, bit, uh, a bit sluggish. I know, very funny stuff. Uh, I guess you wouldn't Time immediately burn to death walking through lava in Elden Ring. You know that lava cannot hurt you as long as you are backstepping. Try to You're joking. No. <laughs> no, what? <laughs> That's crazy. In real life, actually at this point the lava is more of a suggestion. Summer enjoyers be like at least there be no snow. Oh. Yo, 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 that that is that that is me. That is unironically me in a nutshell. I don't give a damn how how hot it is. At least there's no snow. Boy, I sure do love taking a walk in the great state of Arizona. So after we're finished navigating the um kinky neighborhood, we head into the next circle of hell, the heresy, which is accessed when I pull a bridge out of the room temperature lava. This is where God puts all the papists after being dragged into the storm drain. Their Sisyphean punishment is that they have to get laid on Gmail. Delete every other website. You have to fuck and suck on Gmail. Now if you'll wow. excuse me, I'll be attending mass to steal the wine. <laughs> Hey, 
hey what guys, the welcome back to my was why why did i pause why 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 did i pause it on this exact frame i was getting ready to say <laughs> Wait, was that partial expansion jutsu that the fucking thing did like a second ago, bro? Jesus Christ. 600 pound death, and on today's episode, we're going to be fighting the skinniest Reddit mod. This is not what I meant when I said I wanted <laughs> jingle physics. I think this boss may have had a few too many, uh, communion wafers. How many of those Damn. do you have to eat before it's considered one entire Jesus? This is your body, broken for me. <laughs> Enough. Now, unlike the other foreskin brother, the absolute girth of this man... Damn! I think we're in for a slower fight, but you are wrong. That would make the game easier. He is even faster than that. What the that fuck? Just makes me go from depressed to impressed. And, just like last time, his second face is absolute body horror. No! Just the scariest shit I've ever Ew. Seen. Please consult your doctor before engaging in any Nico Cotto maxing. I think that, uh, I think I'm gonna be here for a few more minutes. But finally, the bloated design. Body positivity. No, I have body negativity. Also, <laughs> holy shit, this music goes hard. This is an absolutely inappropriate boss theme for the inside of a Walmart. I think it's about time. Are you sure? Are you, are, are you sure? I, I have seen some demonic shit happen in some Walmarts before. I think the music is very fitting. Some of that excess skin. Come on, do it. Give me your skin. Oh, hey, he's dead. If you aren't comfortable in your own flesh, you should pull it off. So now that <laughs> I've officially shot Biggie Biggs, we can finally grab the, um... <laughs> and continue our route towards the average Californian summer. Me being sent to hell, they forgot to take my Bluetooth speaker away. That's right, we're finally here. The heart of the beast. Home of deceitful serpents and their evil minions. You know, Washington. Also, uh... <laughs> yes, thank you. More ladders. But honestly, it's a bit, uh... Easy to get lost in here. Personally, though, I don't think there's much here that we haven't already talked about. Besides the, uh... The Egged One, just what the hell? committee of child skinners. So, we're just gonna teleport straight to the boss, which is the actual way you do it because of the reasons why. All right, Satan, I've served you for too long. Now prepare to feel my... Oh, huh? a second. Oh, Lord. Welcome, everyone. To That's a cool attack. My abuse. And today, we're going to be <laughs> fighting the... Uh, we're going to be, uh, uh, we're going to Google how to kill him, because as it turns out, the reptile exhibit is in need of some heavy ordinance, of which Good I am Lord. The Serpent Hunter is, and I quote, on some anime shit, a weapon of mass destruction. That is so cool. Kill just snakes, you know, like a secretary bird. It's also uh, <laughs> three feet from the entrance. That's like giving chocolate out in a dog pound. God may give me his toughest battles, but so too do we get his largest gun. We just refer to the <laughs> meter stick. This fight is the coolest shit I've ever seen. It is so satisfying to use this weapon and the damage is absolutely biblical my favorite part was when K that 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 weapon the attack that that weapon does reminds me of blasting zone from final fantasy 8 very neat and i like that a lot he beat his brother to death with a rock the only drawback is that you are too strong and dodging him is really a easy because the snake will signal every attack by pogging but if i had to choose <laughs> a boss to be easy this one is pretty fucking up there and trust me i know about fucking up but just ask the war crime trials <laughs> i have something to admit guys i didn't really kill anyone in the war i only kill people like you tomorrow but as for this boss his difficulty does not get in the way of the fun of which there is plenty i think the best attack is the one where he slimes me at the kids choice awards plus yeah. Uh, down for animal abuse, especially after the animal abuses me. So with that true. out of the way, I think it's about time that we graduate this noodle from endangered to extinct. <laughs> oh Jesus, aren't you dramatic? Would that... Would the snake head falling deal damage if you were standing right up under it? Like, how that happens with large enemies in PSO2? Demigod of Mount Gelmir, number 15. Shut the fuck up. Raider Riker. <laughs> what is that? It appears that you are trying to cut off my pet snake. So in return, I will now cut off yours. Huh? The last thing you want on your journey to hell is to join the serpent. What the fuck is that? Out, that might be what you get. Oh my fucking god. Oh! oh it's Satan. I'm your Whoa! Oh, uh, <clears throat> Welcome everyone to the second phase of life, also known as death. Holy shit! The human 
centipede along with everyone he's ever consumed. That's right, this entire time we were participating in the world's most complicated buffet. Not to mention, I'm <laughs> the souls of four entire demigods, so I just delivered Rikard his fucking pizza. But if you want to get eating, first you have to get eaten by an immortal snake and live on him like a tumor. That's called making a deal. Now, as for the game, Jesus play, Christ, a intense, you know, kind of spooky, kind of makes me cry. That's a lot, this man. Is normal moves that can use every snake attack, just like Metal Gear Solid. But that Ow. isn't even the dangerous part. That happens when he unleashes the 50 goddamn explosive skulls at the end of his <laughs> volume and then dips my screen into a vat of hot oil. I guess ah, just built on golly. the system. I could not tell you what's happening on the screen right now. The best way I can describe this fight is that it gives brain damage, just like playing Valorant. But in a good way, <laughs> like playing Valorant, even still, this battle is not about that. It is all about the spectacle, the weaponry, and of course, the violence. It is a gimmick fight done absolutely correct, even if it hurts my eyes a bit. But if this fight gets one thing right, it is definitely style. And while this battle may be long, you know, like a, like a, like a cat, goddamn, does it deliver. Oh man, this is awesome! I haven't heard this song in a while. God, his action editing is so good, dude! Man, nice! Fucking awesome, dude! Hey, so, uh, I might have killed Satan. You fucking what? Yeah, so... <laughs> where did she go? Gong. Oh. She's eating what? Man! Holy shit, dude! Jesus Christ! He's so fucking good at this stuff, man. Oh my god. Every every video I watch from him, I I I'm I am more and more inspired to improve my own editing, and there's no part three. Well, uh Well, I have the bell on. So uh when part three eventually releases, uh I'm gonna watch it live in uh real time because i want to experience that and i'm pretty sure there's a lot of other people that want to experience that too so with that being said uh